All right, here we are on Kodi.tv, ready to download the Windows version of Kodi 14.1. Now you can get to that the same place that you can get to any other version, either up here on the Downloads button, or here on the right, it'll always show the latest version, what day it was updated, and also the big download button here. Now it's gonna take you to the same place no matter which one you click on. You can see the Android version, Ubuntu, all of the Apple versions, Linux, and the Windows version over here that we're looking for. And this is about a 68 meg file, so it is gonna take a little bit of time to download, uh, depending on your internet speed, of course. Uh, it's gonna go by default to your downloads folder. So we'll click on that, so it'll start the download, and we'll pick it up in a few minutes once it's finished. All right, we are downloaded and ready to install. The install is pretty straightforward. You'll double click on the Helix Beta 1.exe folder. That'll pull up the setup wizard. Simply connect through. Got your general license that nobody reads anyway. You can select any add-ons that you want. And I always like to install it on a different drive than my hard drive, uh, just because I've got an SSD. So try to keep that as clean as possible. Select next through for that. Give it a shortcut. Sure. And that's it. Click finish. And we can get rid of this stuff. And we're up and running. On a Windows interface, it's going to be a little bit different than an Android interface. Um, Kodi was designed to be used from your couch using a remote control. Now, obviously, in a Windows machine, you're going to have a mouse, so a lot of the, the menu options are going to be, you know, go to the right side of the screen and hold it there, and it'll scroll to the right. Same thing for going back left. Um, this makes it a little awkward, to be honest. Um, but the first things you'll want to do are go to the system screen, check out the system info, make sure you're seeing your, your correct resolution. Now again, this is on a, a smaller monitor with a lower screen, so you're going to see a, a different resolution than you probably have. Um, but you get an idea of your frame rates, you know, CPU usage. If these numbers seem out of whack, you might want to check your settings to see what's going on. Um, you can go back or back, go back to the home screen either way. And what we're going to do first is add a video file location. So you go to videos and files. Now, if you haven't done that before, you're going to get the first run dialog box. Hit OK. Um, I'm going to want to go to files. Now, what I'm going to do is add a, a local storage location on a local hard drive. So it's attached internal to this computer. I'm going to go add videos, browse media locations. I have several hard drives. So this is on drive E and it's in movies. And the only thing I have are my two Star Wars movies uh, that I j just recently ripped and we're going to have a different video on that. So if you hit OK, and that's going to include both of the subfolders as well. You can name the media source, whatever you want, but this is the important part. So you have your correct file location there and then hit OK. And OK again. Now, one of the ways to test that you did this correctly is to click back into your shared folder that you just created. You should see the files or subfolders that you're expecting to see. In my case, I've got two subfolders and three files within each one. Now, if I click on one of the files, it should start playing, or if you've played it before, it should ask if you want to resume from where you left off. And there you go. That's how to install Kodi on Windows. We'll have another video on, on how to set up Kodi really soon. But for now, check out AndroidPCReview.com for more articles and info, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great videos. Enjoy!